Personal Injuries, Lawyers Gone Bad, Number 2, by Vincent L. Scarcella is a gripping legal thriller that delves deep into the moral and ethical dilemmas faced by lawyers. This novel, which is the second installment in the Lawyers Gone Bad series, continues to explore the dark underbelly of the legal profession while delivering a thrilling narrative that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. The story revolves around the life of Kevin Corvelli, a defense attorney with a checkered past who has managed to escape his previous troubles and is now trying to lead a more principled life. However, Kevin's resolve is put to the test when he takes on the case of Julia Galt, a young woman accused of killing her abusive husband. The case is complicated by the fact that Julia is a former lover of Kevin, and their tumultuous history adds layers of complexity to the narrative. One of the strengths of personal injuries lies in its well-crafted characters. Kevin Corvelli is a flawed yet relatable protagonist. His internal struggles with his past mistakes and his desire for redemption make him a character readers can empathize with. Julia Galt is equally well-developed, portrayed as a complex woman who has endured years of abuse and is now fighting for her freedom. Scarcella excels in creating characters with depth, making the reader emotionally invested in their fates. The legal aspects of the novel are meticulously researched and presented. Scarcella's background as a lawyer shines through in his detailed descriptions of courtroom procedures and legal maneuvering. This authenticity adds credibility to the story and enhances the overall reading experience. It's clear that the author has a deep understanding of the legal world, and he effectively conveys this knowledge to the reader. The moral and ethical dilemmas faced by the characters are at the heart of the novel. Kevin Corvelli, in particular, grapples with the conflict between his duty as a defense attorney to provide the best possible defense for his client and his personal feelings for Julia. This internal struggle is a central theme, and Scarcella explores it with nuance and sensitivity. It raises thought-provoking questions about the role of lawyers in the pursuit of justice and the boundaries between personal and professional ethics. The pacing of the novel is well executed. Scarcella keeps the reader engaged with a combination of courtroom drama, suspenseful twists, and personal conflicts. The story moves at a brisk pace, and the tension escalates as the trial progresses. The courtroom scenes are particularly riveting, with sharp dialogue and strategic legal maneuvering that will appeal to fans of legal thrillers. In addition to its exploration of the legal world, Personal Injuries also delves into themes of domestic abuse and the impact it has on survivors. Julia's character arc is a poignant portrayal of a woman who has suffered at the hands of her abusive husband and is now seeking justice. Scarcella handles this sensitive topic with care and sheds light on the challenges faced by survivors of abuse when navigating the legal system. While Personal Injuries is primarily a legal thriller, it also weaves in elements of romance and personal redemption. The complex relationship between Kevin and Julia adds depth to the story and provides moments of emotional resonance. It's a testament to the author's skill that he can seamlessly blend these various elements into a cohesive narrative. In conclusion, Personal Injuries, Lawyers Gone Bad, Number 2, by Vincent L. Scarcella is a compelling legal thriller that combines well-drawn characters, a gripping plot, and a thought-provoking exploration of moral and ethical dilemmas. It offers readers a front-row seat to the world of defense attorneys while keeping them engrossed in a suspenseful and emotionally charged story. Whether you're a fan of legal thrillers or simply enjoy a well-crafted narrative with complex characters, this novel is worth adding to your reading list.